Haven't you eaten enough already? Needs are unlimited! Hmm, you know, that's actually a great point. In fact, it ties perfectly into something I wanted to talk about. Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. So, let's zoom in! Imagine life as a video game. You start at level 1, just trying to survive. And as you level up, you unlock cooler powers and achievements. That's essentially what psychologist Abraham Maslow thought when he created his hierarchy of needs. Instead of a game, he saw life as a pyramid where you must complete each level before moving on to the next. Yes, at the first level comes physiological needs or survival mode. To understand this, picture yourself stranded on a deserted island. What's the first thing you'd worry about? Probably food, water and shelter. That's because your most basic needs Air, water, food, sleep and warmth comes first. If these aren't met, nothing else really matters. Think about it. If you haven't eaten all day, are you really going to care about your English homework? No! Your brain is too busy screaming, feed me! Maslow understood that until these needs are satisfied, Nothing else gets your attention. Once those basics are covered, it's time to stay alive. This is where safety needs come in. Having a stable home, financial security, good health and protection from danger. Imagine you're in a haunted house. Every creaky floorboard and flickering light makes your heart race. Are you thinking about your future in that moment? Probably not. You just want to get out alive. That's why safety is crucial. When you feel secure, you can start focusing on bigger things. With food and safety covered, the next level is love and belonging. We all want to feel connected, whether through family, friendships, or relationships. Think about how it feels when your best friend ignores your texts. It stings, right? That's because love and belonging are essential. Whether it's hanging out with your besties, getting a hug from your parents, or even being part of a fandom. Strong relationships make life more meaningful. Once you feel connected, the next step is feeling valued and respected. Esteem needs are all about confidence, self-respect and recognition for your hard work. Ever aced a test and felt like an absolute genius? Or nailed that basketball shot and everyone cheered? That's your esteem needs being satisfied. On the flip side, if someone constantly puts you down, it can seriously mess with your confidence. That's why it's important to surround yourself with people who lift you up. Finally, the ultimate level is self-actualization. Becoming the best version of yourself. It's when you stop worrying about what others think and focus on your dreams and passions. For some, that means becoming an artist, athlete, or scientist curing diseases. For others, it's simply about growing as a person and making a difference. Maslow believed that not everyone reaches this level, but we all have the potential to. The trick? Keep pushing forward, set goals and take risks. Maslow knew life isn't a perfect pyramid. You don't just complete a level and move on. Sometimes you win and other times you learn through failure. The goal isn't to beat the pyramid, 
It's to understand your needs and find balance. Trivia time! Did you know Maslow later added more levels to his pyramid? Yes, the updated version includes cognitive needs, aesthetic needs and transcendence. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Mivan Tyagi. Hope you felt fulfilled today. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. So Kitty, ready to move beyond the food level? Humans climb Maslow's pyramid. Cats relax at the top. Well, never mind.